Hello everyone, this is the Drex A3 or Delta 6 of the Run 8 community and uh, this is uh, custom creating custom textures for Run 8 version 2 or converting custom textures from version 1 to version 2. So the first things we're going to need are uh, well, we're going to need a couple things. We're going to need paint.net uh, all the other tools will be in the description in a zip file um, as you're going to just need the same stuff you needed from the original tutorial for version 1 uh, so let's get right into this so we'll go to my documents for this da -da 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 -da. and uh, let's find a skin so I'll show you how to convert this for version 2 this will be a pretty short video because you've already seen how to if you want to figure out how to make skins you can go back and look at the first one converting skins to version 2 only works for version 1 for locomotives that enrolling stock and assets that were in version 1 because we cannot extract anything from version 2 due to the way that the files have been encrypted I've taken a look at the encryption myself and it's something none of us are going to be able to crack so for example let's go to Valhalla Tower let's take a look at something we do happen to have uh, mm -hmm. all right here we go we will take this body and we're going to copy it. Actually, no. What we're going to need, you're going to need one more tool. Easy to convert PNG to DDS. So, DDS is a format recognized by DirectX 11 uh, rendering applications. So, or it's a direct draw surface. So, we're going to do this. And we're going to go find the file we would like to convert. So, it'll be this. Uh... And we'll rename the file shortly afterwards. Yes, we would like to trust this Acronis. Please just let me, leave me be. All right. Now here comes the other part. We're going to need to go to computer, and we need to create a specific folder. I only found this by accident. And by the way, it, it wasn't too much of an exploit, but when you go to convert content from version 1 to version 2, the converter creates an extra file. So I have this little batch file, which I'll include for you guys. It just makes it so you don't have to hit new folder every time. And we'll now have a folder called converted underscore output. And you're going to want to pause the video here and look at exactly how this is done. Because if your folder is not written exactly like this is, it will not work. The converter needs to be able to see this specific folder. Normally this would be a hidden folder that would only appear for a short time and then disappear once the content has been converted. So what we're going to do is easy to convert and we're going to direct it to that folder, convert or underscore output. So we're going to convert. And we're going to go into convert or underscore output and as you can see we have a DDS file. So what we're going to do is rename this to BNSF old underscore zero because it's the older GVO. So what we'll do is we'll double check in our body folder, run and train, train similar v2 content v2 rail vehicles body, and let's go find, let's just type it in, nsf underscore old, actually we'll just scroll because my computer would like to take 400 years to do this process, so now we'll just keep looking. And for anyone that is uh, from Valhalla or anyone that's curious, anything with .tx8 is a texture file, anything with .rna is a model file. So let's go for example bnsf underscore old, which we do already have backed up. bnsf underscore old dot zero dot tx8. Now we can delete this, you don't have to, but it would be um, for DLC uh, rolling stock if you're converting something you will not need to delete this file the converter will already will automatically overwrite it for things that are already built into the game you'll have to delete the original texture file so now what we'll do um, just double check that the file names are correct PNSF underscore old yes they are all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to fire up Run It Train Simulator version 2. Actually, well, actually I'm missing a step. We are not going to open V2. 
uh, the next step will be, for example, let's just take a look for, uh, let's see, what's a, f uh, there we go. FMC, we're going to find my FMC box car pack. Uh, let's see, where did I put it? Right, downloads, train sets. Let's find our FMC boxcar pack. FMC boxcars are one. Now you're going to install this the same way you would any other V1 content in version 2 before it gets converted. By the way, this is the converter right here. There's two parts of it. It copies itself into converted underscore output and works from there. There's no real way for me to personally manipulate that, and I've even looked at the code for the converter, and it's it would uh, I would be uh, long dead before uh, decrypting that. So we will not go to v1. We will go to the version two directory, point it there, hit next, let it install, and what this allows us to do is the converter when it goes to convert the FMC box cars will also see this file and convert it. So now is actually the time to boot up version 2. And just to confirm that our content is working, we'll go to V2 Rail Vehicles Body and we'll go back to the, the uh, Jivo in question. In which case, as you can see, there's a missing BNSF one here. That will appear momentarily. So let's just load up. We'll load up. Uh, we'll load up Selkirk. V1 rolling stock has been installed and will automatically be converted for V2. This may take a couple minutes. Uh, and we can watch the process unfold right here. Normally you wouldn't, most people, you know, you wouldn't be able to see this, but you'll see it appear here momentarily. It's converting the textures and models right now. Uh, I will at some point include a tutorial for making custom models. It's going to be much harder to do. Um... And uh, the sound development tutorial when I get home from college later today or tonight, I should be able to make the sound tutorial for version 2 because I know that uh, Mr. Nelson is having issues. As you can see, BNSF underscore old dot TX8 just appeared, and it's a different file size than the original. As you can see, the original was around 2,700 something. It was around 2.7 megabytes. This one is now 600. 83 kilobytes. Um, so that's proof. That's a good way to look at things is to determine uh, if something's working. For anyone who's also curious, this is not a Run 8 Western Jivo file you're seeing here. This is the default Jivo, the very first one on the list in your Run 8. It's just listed R8 because it was the first one that was developed. So let's go turn it to real morning time. And uh, pardon the snow textures. By the way, the Selkirk uses the uh, A-line ballast, so if you were to ever put winter texture, winter ballast in Selkirk, you'd have winter ballast on the A-line, for example. So let's go to our particular freight locomotives. We will spawn in which Jiva, lo Jiva locomotive is it? I believe it would be this one. No, that's the wrong one. Here, we'll just spawn them all in. There we go, it was the first one. And as you can see, you now have a textured model, a custom texture loaded into version 2. And everything will work as normal. As you can tell, it does have the MRAO effects, uh, just like any other texture in version 2. Uh, to make a non-MRAO one for the basic MRAO system, at the moment I'm not sure how to do that, uh, and I may inquire with Run8 Studios if possible to... Again, there's no promise there, so no one... I would prefer that there be no... Uh, 
questions, constantly asking if that's possible to make a basic MRAO texture, because personally I've never done it before, because this is a very simple texture that doesn't have MR MRAO shading on it when uh, its devout was created in paint. This was courtesy of, this is actually a Railworks reskin converted by Martin Dashwell that was so great, graciously given to Valhalla. Um, so that's the basics, and we will s uh, have the s sound development tutorial for version 2 up uh, soon, uh, mainly because I have to rec find a little way to record how to install the DirectX SDK uh, I'll, uh, for 2010, which is required for that. So that, without further ado, that's been the reskin tutorial. Uh, if you have any further questions, please write them down in the comments below or when this goes up on Facebook. Uh, feel free to post it there. So uh, this has been Delta 6 of Valhalla Tower, and we will see you later.